Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage and Christina Dykes from Dykes Delicacies. Hey guys! Today's video is a collaboration with Dykes Delicacies. You can catch the link below to watch me make tamales with Christina. Yay! Today's video is going to be a first time chalk paint DIYer. Are you yeah. excited? You are going to teach me how to make this look beautiful and I'm so excited. It's not too hard. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we're gonna start off with our products here. We're using a high bond primer by Fairy Chalk Mother. You don't necessarily have to have it, but it's gonna help it stick really good, and so your kids, you know, it'll be harder for them to take off. Yes, they're re pretty rough. And then we're using Fairy Chalk Mother in ivory today. We've already wiped down our piece, and we're ready to get started. You got your tool? Oh, yes. Okay, we're All using right. our zipper brushes. These have been hard used. And we're gonna use our high bond primer. Let's see if I can get it open here. And I'm gonna show you and then I'll let you do it. Awesome. So the thing with Fairy Chalk Mother is that instead of having to sand and prep and do all that stuff to your pieces, you just clean it and go. That is awesome, for yeah, sure. Because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> no way. You're gonna take your brush and you're gonna just do nice, even strokes. The high bond is kind of thick. So you just kind of have to spread it out. If you get any clumpies when it's all dry, you can buff it off to make it nice and smooth. You're going to want to use a good brush that's nice and clean. I use zipper brushes and you can find them on jamierayvintage.com. They are synthetic and they hold a lot of paint so you don't have to dip it a lot. All right, did you see what I did? Sure. You All right. It look easy. Now you can do the rest of the top. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to dip it in there and then you're going to okay. make like nice long even strokes. Oh, it's like you're dancing. <laughs> Spread it out, friend. Not quite. She has good technique here, as you can see. She's making nice, long, oh, even yes. strokes, avoiding heavy brush marks. Good job, Christina. So beautiful. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this thing primed, and then we will be right back to show you what it looks like. <laughs> of high bond primer on here. It wasn't too hard, was it? It was pretty easy. That's because I did it. Yeah. <laughs> you did the top though, right? Yes, that, you're the professional. Leave it to the professional. That's what counts. <laughs> My least favorite part about painting hutches is painting the back. So sometimes Zeb will take the backs off and we paint them mm -hmm. separate. So that's, well, that's a good smart. thing to keep in mind. If this was a bigger hutch, I would totally take the back off and paint it separately. We've also had the doors off and we painted those. And when my drawers dry, sometimes these ones are tall and skinny and they flop over. So mm -hmm. I just put them in the hole just to dry so that way they don't fall over. It's a great idea. It's a good little tip. Those ones are shorter in depth so they're, they're not falling over on the bottom. But good little tip there. All right, so we're going to do our paint next. It's our Fairy Chalk Mother Ivory. You want to make sure your high bond primer is nice and dry because if it's wet, it'll pull up the paint when it gets re-wet again. Oh, that makes sense. It's nice and dry. So just dip your brush in there and let's see your skills. Let's see what you've learned. Nice and smooth. There you go. Look how easy that is. And look how well it covers. If you didn't use the high bond primer, you'd probably have to use a few more coats of the chalk paint. Okay. So it's really no more steps. It's just a different product. Yeah, and you can see how much prettier this color is than white. Yeah. Ivory is a really nice color. We're going to go ahead and get this whole thing painted, and then we'll do some distressing and some sealing. Awesome. Ready? Looking great so far. All right. coat of primer and two coats of fairy chalk mother ivory and we're going to talk about sanding. Are awesome. You, are you excited? So excited. My See, favorite part. <laughs> sanding is way exciting. So we brush this so to get rid of some of the brush strokes use the fine sanding block. 180 grit is usually pretty good and they make them in two different ways. You can get a block like this or you can get one of these and then put your own sandpaper on it. Okay. So this is a 180 and you're just going to go over the whole piece and kind of just take off the top layer and then you can feel it afterwards. Feel how smooth that is. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It gets rid of the ridges. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna distress it. I like to use 80 grit because it takes it off quick. But you have to be careful. You don't want to take off too much. Okay. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go along the edges where it would naturally wear. Okay. If you just start distressing the whole thing, it kind of looks like a cheetah. It's not really pretty. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I've seen that. Or people use it a hand sander and it looks like they just dropped the sander. <laughs> it's in a like a triangle. Just yeah, you're like, uh, and that's not pretty. So I want to see okay. you. Do, you want to try that along the edge? You just yeah. rub across. Give it a little elbow grease. Look at that. Just dressing. 
to look great. Yeah, so we're gonna go across the whole piece with this block and then we're going around the edge with that and then we'll show you what it looks like. Awesome. Okay, so we are all distressed and ready to seal. It's been a pretty easy process so far. We're gonna use our water-based polyurethane and you always wanna have a separate brush for your polyurethane. If you use the same brush you paint with, then you'll get paint flex and you, nobody wants that. Yeah, so, that I have a purdy brush. I think it works pretty good. And if you go to the store, each of them say like what they're good for. Mm -hmm. And this one is a good finishing brush. So we're using our water-based polyurethane and semi-gloss. You can use satin gloss, semi-gloss. Semi-gloss wipes pretty good. And you're just gonna put it on in nice, even strokes. We're gonna do two coats total before we're done. And after the first coat, we're gonna go ahead and buff it just like we did the paint mm -hmm. to get it nice and smooth. So I'll okay. let you try that out there. I'm making you work. It's good. That, your technique learn. has improved. Yay! It's getting better Thanks. since the beginning of the video. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get this all sealed up and we'll show you it finished at Christina's house. Hey guys, we are here with our finished hutch at Christina's house. Yay guys, I love it so much. Isn't it beautiful? She did such a great job. This just goes to show that all you need is a paintbrush and some chalk paint and you can make anything beautiful. And some direction from Jamie Ray, of you course. You need to watch a few videos, maybe. <laughs> We've got a few, maybe like 24, 25 videos. Watch yeah. those all, you'll be professional. She's a great teacher. So just to recap what we did, we primed this with Fairy Chalk Mother High Bond, and then we used Fairy Chalk Mother Ivory, and we sealed it in a water-based polyurethane. It also has a light distress, and it's good to go. I can't wait to see it with all your nativity and all your other Christmas stuff on here. It'll look I great. Know. It's going to look so awesome. Thanks. So if you're a first time chalk painter and you have questions, comment below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.